We begin with new developments as two teens who were trapped under a frozen lake this weekend share their story with KXLY tonight. Josh says, Josh started praying. I heard him pray, so then I started praying. The boys say they honestly didn't think they were going to survive. They were walking on the ice at Avondale Lake near Hayden Lake when it broke and they fell through Saturday afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ariana Lake in for Nadine tonight. Thankfully, both those boys are alive to tell their stories today. One only spent hours in the ER. The other was just released from the hospital this morning. KXY 4's Drew Reeves spoke to them this afternoon. Drew, why did they go out on that icy lake in the first place? Well, Ariana, they actually told me that they were going out there hoping to get the perfect picture for their Instagram accounts. Instead, what they got was a difficult lesson about walking on thin ice. For Josh and Nick, Avondale Lake is part of their usual biking route. But as the 14 and 16 year olds were riding by on Saturday, they thought the frozen lake would make a perfect setting for a social media post. Then, out in the middle of the lake, terror struck. Like, we were like messing around with little ice holes that were there. Like, uh, I, think it was, I think it was you that jumped. Yeah, you jumped. And the teens found themselves struggling to try and get back on the ice. Nick says he managed to get on top a couple times, but each time the ice kept breaking. Nick says he remembers seeing Josh go under the ice several times. I was thinking I was going to die and not be alive. Eventually, though, Nick managed to get on top and help Josh hold on. And while they struggled, members of a nearby golf course heard their screams. It was a cook who called 911, and as sirens blared, a group had formed, ready to help first responders. So we had 300 feet of uh, rope that needed, you know, the responders needed help with the ropes. So the Avondale people were had all come out. Together they helped firefighters pull the two to safety. Those who witnessed the event estimate Josh was in the water for 45 minutes. By the time he was taken to the hospital, his core body temperature was around 80 degrees. He's lucky, lucky, lucky kid. While some people are willing to do what it takes to get the perfect picture, Josh and Nick say they now know it's never worth risking your life. Do you guys feel like you've learned a lesson after this? Yeah, oh. we're not going to go on the ice ever again. And the sheriff's office says that this is definitely a time of year that you do not want to be walking on frozen water. Reporting in Hayden, Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News. Thanks so much, Drew. Great reminder there.